Hello, and welcome to something rather unusual. This is a super bullet break. Um, thematically, this will be a pretty violent departure for my channel, but uh, mechanically, it actually looks really in line. So uh, I figured a uh, live, a, a live reaction, I suppose, uh, to trying this game for the first time might be the call. We'll we'll find out. Um, this is just a reminder. So super bullet break. Thank you very much to the devs. Um, Please excuse my hesitation. It's it's gonna be an interesting experience, I think. Check the messages, okay. I gotta check the messages first. Yo, what's up? Uh, what? Oh, I accidentally skipped the... All right, let's go through it. Ah, uh, hello there, who are you exactly? Oh, sorry, name's Nayuda. Nice to meet you. I see, it's nice to meet you too, Nayuda. Can I... Give me the TDL, TLDR. Uh, work with Black Cat to restore the altered characters. Beat the singular lady. Find the information on who's behind this. Okay. Alright. I can do that. New mission unlocked! Alright. Monochrome tactics. Um, so from what I had... Summon 3-3? Rainbow fish. I know exactly what I'm doing. Um, from what I had uh, looked into in this game, it, their big pull is this is a gotcha game without gotcha mechanics, basically. Or sorry, gotcha mechanics, but no microtransactions. So that kind of appealed to me because I do enjoy the idea of gotcha, which is basically just, you know, um, a lottery. Uh, it's basically just like low tier gambling, but uh, low tier gambling within a vacuum without costing money is actually pretty fun. Uh, and really all it means is that you're gonna you're gonna hit that dopamine button basically every five seconds until you are uh, frothing at the mouth so uh, With that in mind this is also a uh, deck builder as I understand it as well as like 13 other things So we'll find out a bit by bit and that's monochrome tactics loaded. It's all working perfectly a Sugoi there it is. We're, we're actually playing it. Oh, you're a black cat aren't you? Uh, you must be the one Nayuda mentioned, Akari, right? Yeah. Hope we get along. I'm sure we will. So you're familiar huh, with this game. I beat the final boss, but that's about it. I guess it's a pretty standard RPG about a hero and a black king. And you don't need a detailed explanation. Let's start investigating. How do you investigate? You didn't read the manual? Sure didn't. Oh, I did know that if gaming is in danger... If gaming is in danger, I gotta do something about it. Nah, dog. Go ahead and put the bullet in that one. Oh, we're gonna have to take gaming behind the shed, I think. It's it's had a good run. <laughs> Meow, is that you? Anyway, investigations. You chased the singular lady out of the... I thought I... I think... I'm sorry. Listen. Yes. We're gonna... We're gonna... <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna play the game. I know. Listen, I'm sure uh, fans of the visual novel genre will have a absolute ball with this one, but uh, I'm I'm interested in the mechanics. So, you progress through the map by selecting blocks to move on. Yeah, that's pretty familiar. All right, here we go. Select the character's bullets at the lower half of the screen and attack the enemies. Depending on the type of battle, you win either when you defeat all enemies or destroy the boss. Okay. Um, all right, so we've got uh, Spectros, best girl, uh, Ninette, second best girl, I think. A am I cool now? Uh, choose and discard one bullet from your hand. Discards a bullet from upon attacking. Draw a number of bullets from your magazine. <laughs> this, I, I, I know it was called Super Bullet Break, uh, but I was not expecting actual bullet. Look at the... The, the icons, that's kind of hilarious. I, I like it. Alright, we're gonna have to- I'm gonna have to try and figure this out. The, the, the first few turns of any deck builder is kind of painful, always. Because I'm always not sure what I'm doing. Draw one. Choose and discard. After attacking, uh, Aqua Rhythm bullets gain plus two attack power for the rest of the turn. Alright, we're gonna attack. We can heal two times. Um, let's draw. Oh, I see. We're doing seven damage. So these do da these attack in addition to giving me stuff. So we actually we want to do it a ten attack and then gain some armor. Nice. Okay. 
<clears throat> choose and discard one bullet from your hand. Uh, okay, who are we discarding? We have two of these. We could discard one of those, but I think we'll discard this. Oh, that's one shield. Applies one delay. I, I swear they changed. Alright, we'll, we'll discard the shield. Enemy turn. We Did we use up all of our actions? How many actions do you get per turn? Three? No, that doesn't make sense. Okay, so on the right is our graveyard, which I guess is our disc discard pile. And then on the left is our magazine, which is our draw pile. All right, are you following me? Are you following along? Um, how many actions do we get per turn? I'm assuming three, because that is kind of standard. But I will not lie, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how many actions I get per turn. There's a lot of things going on on the interface. Um, burst one. Gain plus one attack power based on the number of bullets you use this turn. Okay, well we'll kill this lad. I uh, really do kind of, uh, I gotta say, I appreciate the uh, graphics, like the animations in this game. So we have 10 armor, so we blocked that attack. Icon details, okay. All right, that's, that's actually pretty nice. So we could uh, restore our health and do a little bit of damage. We do wanna make sure we can um, block this turn, which we can't so far. What is in a, what is in our backpack? See, use or discard items you have. And then what is this? Uh, oh, that's just the settings and stuff. All right, I'm just trying to get used to the interface. Also, I gotta say, I am, I'm using a PS4 controller, or sorry, PS5 controller right now, and the game, like, straight up just knew that that was the case, and I appreciate that. Um, it wasn't showing me an Xbox controller. I always appreciate when games do that, because I know it's a little bit of extra effort. Um, all right, so let's just do this. And then we, I, I see we have some shield. So we'll do that, get some extra shield, and then we have one more turn. Let's get some more shield, because we're about to take 10 damage. And uh, I guess in the top left corner, is it tells you how much damage you're actually going to take. So, like, right now it's 13, but we can kill this lad, so it doesn't actually matter. Okay, pretty deep mechanic so far, I gotta say. Um, like, just on, like, first impressions, there's a lot going on immediately. Uh, upon winning, you may receive either a bullet or an item. If you do not want anything, you may also skip this. All right, so uh, Asagi, after attacking, Phoenix bullets cost negative two for the rest of the turn. So the this is a Phoenix card, maybe I don't know. If you have more, have twelve or more Phoenix bullets in your magazine, inflict five poison on all enemies at the start of combat. Well, that's a really ambitious passive there. Restores one hundred percent of damage dealt as HP. Oh, yeah, that's kind of cool. Inflict two feeble, inflict two poison. Uh, we're gonna find out what that means. And no, we're not. No, no, we're not. Um, I'm assuming feeble is going to decrease. Uh, oh, icon details, here we go. Uh, decreases attack damage by a certain amount and then decreases HP by 3% of max HP at the start of the turn. Last multiple turns. Oh, that's nice. I appreciate that it's based on how much health, max health they have, so poison actually actively works as a percentage of their health rather than a flat number. So that means that poison, uh, it, it actually scales with whatever you're fighting. I kind of appreciate that. I kind of like Nut Boy, <laughs> although he is uh, unfortunately named. So yeah, let's let's take this. So we can go to the town. Or we can just do some more battles. Um, let's just do another battle. I'm sure that I would like to visit the town maybe after I've done a bit more. Oh, we're fighting a chest this time. Let's, use, let's just do, uh, let's do it like an aggressive attack. Um, we could do another eight here. Oh, that was the end of my turn? Why was that the end of my turn? I think I understand. On the top left 
it shows you how much you're progressing towards the enemy turns. So the four and the five is actually energy and you get, it looks like six energy before the enemy gets their turn. So that means I could do um, like a four and a three maybe, uh, assuming that I, I can, um, it, it, they only get their turn after I've overspent. <clears throat> So we could do like a, a six, uh, get, get some shield. So then we get to do one more thing before they do their thing. And I could kill this uh, lad here and heal a little bit. Yeah. But I also notice that spends a little bit more. Oh, okay, so this, shield, this chest isn't gonna do anything for a long time. So that means I can uh, basically play all of my cards. And I want to I want to use as many cards as I can before I use that last one because it's gonna th that means they're gonna do the most damage. Nice. Okay, so it's like awake now. So I'm assuming it's gonna do oh it's gonna do 24 damage. That's pretty brutal. All right, let's uh let's see this one gain four. All right, we, and we have the burst. So let's go ahead and do some damage. Oh, that one does take seven. So let's not use the seven, maybe? We can do a little bit of healing. Do a little bit of healing and then also use our uh, burst one and that should actually kill it. Nice, done. We haven't got to use our not boy yet. <laughs> a dang shame, I, I should say. It's your lucky day, pal, you just got Rufy. Roof. Okay, it is Roof. Mightiest in all the land on your side. Don't you feel blessed? I sure do. I couldn't feel more blessed if I even understood how you worked. Alright, so now let's check out one of these not combat things. Treasure. Gives items, bullets, or giga. You can choose one of the three treasure types, but the exact thing you receive is a matter of luck. So here's your gotcha mechanics. We got coins. Can't get far without it. Um, so let's uh, mosey on over here. Okay, so the, the cafe is a rest spot. We don't need to, we, we are actually doing quite well. Unless the rest spot also lets you upgrade your cards, in, that, in which case that might be worthwhile. And we'll still have enough uh, energy that we can like do one more thing. So it seems to me that even though you can do one thing, like, like okay, so I have one, technically one energy or I don't know, you could call it initiative because that kind of looks like what that is. I have one initiative before the enemy gets to do their thing. So even though I can spend a card or use a card that has a initiative, um, it still means that I'm shortchanging myself because it means I'm, I'm using six more initiative after the enemy has done their thing. <clears throat> so that means that after they've done their thing, I'll have six less initiative uh, on my next turn. Which is a pretty novel mechanic. I haven't really seen that used before. I have to assume that kind of is how it works. I could be totally wrong on that. Tragic hearts, uh, tragic heart bullets gain plus ten power. This is um, maybe a, an issue. Is I have a, I see a lot of um, I'll call them cards, but I guess bullets that reference other types of bullets. And I don't even know if I have them in my deck. I kind of wouldn't mind a bit more transparent information on that. Like if it literally said underneath that you have zero in your deck or you have two in your deck, that would do a lot for me to figure out is this something I want to take or build into. Um, I, I could, I guess, literally look through all of my cards, but that is quite the ask if I'm being honest. So this says, um, Tragic Heart Bullets. So let's look through, see if I can suss out Tragic Heart Bullets. I'm not seeing any, I'm seeing Flower seller, Sellers, Discar, Chipmunk Mascot. Uh, yeah, I'm not, not really seeing any. So I don't think that's a good card for it. Mascot Bullets gain plus two attack power. Okay, so I do feel like I reckon, oh, that's quite the image. Uh, I think I, I do recognize that. So let me see. Okay, so this is a mascot. So those would gain some power. And then uh, this guy adds power. Some This guy. This, okay, so I have, I have a lot of mascots. So this one is actually pretty good for us. 
Penetrating, gain plus one attack power based on the difference between current HP and max HP. We're really approaching PG-13 with this. Let's try. Gotta say it. No! No, you showed it to me anyway. <laughs> Listen, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. It's either you're in your taste or it's not, but... Uh, I'm trying to keep it classy, see? Uh, which is just a way of saying I'm a Puritan. Um, all right, spend Giga to buy items or bullets, or spend scouting tickets to scout for bullets or a, of a certain type. Oh, interesting. Item prices increase the further along you are on the map. Um, this, this game kind of reminds me of, uh, this is gonna be a deep cut for people who know what I'm talking about, Tetsuo Kuor. It's a little bit, actually, I don't think it is much tamer than Tetsuo Kuor. No, it is, it is. Um, for those of you who are about to look up what Tetsuo Core is, uh, please know that I just am very mechanics driven. <laughs> so I appreciate a game that uh, has some deep mechanics regardless of the theming. Um, welcome, I've got it. I'm not going to explain what Tetsuo Core is. I've got everything you need uh, for your adventure. Okay, so we can search for specific kind of... Oh, I see. We don't have any scouting tickets though, but I could buy a scouting ticket. Yeah, let's do that. Thank you. I'm assuming this is a consumable. I kind of wish it would say whether or not it was a consumable. Okay, I'm gonna, we're gonna spend a scouting ticket. So first trade, uh, I, I'd really like to get another mascot maybe. Uh, his first trade is Cheery Independent Fickle. Let's get a Cheery card, I guess, and a Dragon Expert, or a Dragon Palace, sorry. Yeah, that sounds good. So this is kind of cool. I like the idea of like, okay, you know, once you're familiar with the game and you know uh, a lot of the different bullets in the game, you could maybe suss out uh, how they, how you know, what kind of card you would serve your your deck well. Um, gain one regen, heart explosion plus five. All right, we did it. Sakura Saka, um, best girl. There you go. <clears throat> And what is this? Oh, I see. This restores 100% of damage dealt. Oh, you can. This is a bullet that is obscenely expensive and is apparently the shop clerk. All right. We can discard a bullet. I think that's always a good thing to do because, you know, some bullets are not going to serve you anymore. I wouldn't mind getting rid of the, um, the rainbow fish, but it's actually a mascot. Oh, oh here it is. This card here is just really expensive. And doesn't do very much damage, so I think I want to get rid of that. And also, it's not a mascot. All right, so let's let's bail out of that. So um, these are events, I'm assuming. Yes, they are. All right, let's try an event. See what that looks like. Oh God, it starts various events involving the characters. Ta-da! Uh, it's time for Lanterna's Quiz Corner. You'll now be quizzed about monochrome tactics, and if you get the right answer, you'll be rewarded with two scout tickets. And if you get it wrong, I'd like to prank you, but this time I won't, so are you ready? Uh, I, Q, Lan uh, sorry, question. I, Lanterna, have the data traits of monochrome, rook, fickle, candy, and which one? Yo, you are asking a lot for me. Um, monster. Wrong. Wait, are you saying that I look like a monster? I am, actually. Maybe you deserve a prank after all. No, I'm just joking. You got the wrong answer, but here's your participation prize. A scout ticket. Hey, I'll take it. Thanks. Remember my data traits by the time we meet again. Okay, well, I'm assuming it was the, the other one, the not monster one. No problem. We gained a little bit of armor to start with. She's going to do 25 damage. I'm assuming... Um... So we're just gonna do, we don't really have much else we can do. We can raise the power of our aqua rhythms. I like the music in this game. Inflict some, inflict some poison on her. I'm really not sure kind of what I'm doing in this game because like these guys, both do the same thing, but in theory they have a, they both have a cart. 
that makes them do something different, right? Restore one HP, cost negative one. Oh, I see. So this is th that's why this one is seven instead of eight. And then this one restores one HP. Is it going to do that? It did actually do that. Okay, so I, the cart is very kind of in the background. You basically don't know that they're going to do that. I do wish the information was a little bit more laid out um, in a way that made it easy to read. All right, so we're about to take a lot of damage here. Doubles your current armor. That sounds like a good one thing to do. Well, she did something. She's recovering her damage. Icon details. I wish I could hover over the enemy when I when I have icon details. Okay, let's um this only costs two. Let's get some more health regeneration. Still not sure what heart explosion means, but it looks like we're getting there. Uh, we wanna do our burst, but we wanna do it after we've done everything else. Yeah, we'll get rid of her. Oh, I see. The reason she's so expensive is because her cart makes her cost more. I'm just using all of my cheap cards. I guess I should be doing this one. So that my burst card does, like, ridiculous damage. Gain six shield. We don't. I don't think we need the shield. We're pretty good at the at the point. Oh wait a minute. No, she's gonna do twenty eight times two. So yeah, we totally do need the shields. Shoot. Uh, I'll do the burst. I set up for the burst, so I gotta do it. She did a lot of damage to me. But that's okay, cause that means this thing's gonna do fifty damage. So she's about to recover some health, quite a bit of health. We don't need armor. Choose and discard one bullet from your hand. I don't want to do that. I want all of my cards. So I have two burst cards. Um, let's definitely use this. I was thinking maybe I could hold on to it for the next turn, but I don't think I can. I can't uh, do anything else, so we're just going to gain some armor, I suppose. So we're getting a little bit closer to heart explosion, whatever that means. I don't know what that means. I have to assume it's something good, though. She's about to re uh, raise her attack by quite a lot. Okay, we can get rid of healing for now. That might have been a mistake to do that, actually. I could have done both my burst cards. So, she's about to do 50 damage. That's kind of a problem. But then again, I might get to my uh, big lad card that does a ridiculous amount of damage. Let's get some more shield. Um, we'll heal a bit. We'll poison them. And we'll also get some more shield. There it is. There's our, there's our big lad. Okay, so yeah, we're, we're low health, so this thing's gonna do just, like, kill them. There it is. Nice! So, oh, we get her as a as a bullet. Gain one armor at the start of combat. Uh, attacks twice. Or heroic bullets gain plus two attack power. Or the first bullet you use in combat has plus four attack. This uh, still attacks. So they all attack twice, but they all have different cards. Good to know. Um, let's take this heroic bullets business. Nice. I'm a hero in hot pursuit of the Black Army. If you want, you should come save the world with me. Sure. 
Okay, we'll do that. I'm, I'm curious as to um, what happens after we've... Oh, I see, map two. Well, so I was kind of interested that if we beat this, did we unlock a new game? And what the new game would look like. I am, I am like, kind of intrigued by that. Um, I'm wondering if I can bail out of this. You'll lose everything you gain from this mission. You'll start from map one again. Okay, well, it looks like you can't stop. <laughs> the game is, like, you just straight up cannot stop playing. Okay. Um, if you'd like to see more of this game, uh, it looks like there's a lot going on, and uh, definitely just let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this, then um, I'm glad. And please hit that like button. I'd appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.